this really is an exciting encounter. And can someone now knock New Zealand off the pedestal? Very clean work there. Jimmy Tapu. But again, there's this uh, tartal riposte from South Africa. It's made an untidy ball at the best for New Zealand. And a penalty here, they hung on too long. It's a beautiful kick. Well, remarkable confidence all the time he's had through this tournament. And a cool moment that was. Bryn Hall, poised, standing deep, is it higher west? Will it be the drop goal, left foot? Charge down, brilliant charge down. But there's going to be a penalty because advantage have been played. And they'll have to come back. The Number hand three. was up before the drop goal and the referee has said no advantage came this is the higher west end and a chance to level it absolutely no problem cool as cucumber advantage offside Still penalty advantage, South Africa. And there's a man over here. Has to be a score, surely. Leave it alone. Does he ground it? <laughs> Referee, I think we'll go up to the TMO here. Time off. Now there's a hand coming through. This is very, very slow motion. Of course I can. But I don't think it gets further than that. Oh, thanks, buddy. But they will come back for the penalty goal. Oh. And there is the second penalty for Andre Pollard to give South Africa the lead again. Finally to touch, will it be? Fian van der Vat. Quick throw in. He loves to run, Mackenzie. And he's good at it. This is the hooker, Harris. And away goes Karasoma. And Milford Karasoma from the suburbs and Auckland. Product of Mount Albert Grammar School adds a try to his hat trick that he scored in the opening game against Samoa. Scrum half and the back, Pollard, 3 to 2, always oh, dropped it, just glanced up there momently, did Van, did the Van Vake. But it's a penalty. Two, release, hold the tackle. Here's the chance to get within one point. No problem again. Well, the coolest man in South Africa at the moment is Andre Pollard. Touch! There's a massive Whoa. gap between the scrum and the first defender for South Africa on the left-hand side. That's a tremendous scrummage by South Africa. Absolutely fantastic. Well, they're celebrating that. I've never seen a New Zealand pack stuffed like that. Bit stale. Switch of adventure. Mbavani, a chance to make amends. Great support from Pollard, who set it up to start with. Now Serpentine's calling, we need it, we need it. The forwards are going there. It's a chance and a try! It's going to be a call. Here it 
is just grinding Nigel, and you'll be able to see that he gets there well and truly wins the race. No question. Elation here in Newlands. Pollard's kick doesn't find touch. Will Karasoma think about a drop goal? No, he won't. He'll run. He's quick. Oh, Five nearly eight. got collared. It's going to be a, it's going yeah, to be seven. a penalty advantage. With the tackle by uh, Pete Dutoy, he was went a bit high. Is that the, uh, this to make it 14 to 13. New Zealand can get within one point of the baby box. Has he pulled it? It's glanced off the right side of the upright, and it is just one point in it. South Africa's ball, so much better their line-out work. Willem say that time. And this is what we thought New Zealand was so good at in past tournaments. Could it be a penalty here? There's a bit of a bit of action going on. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay, back you go. Hold on, hold on. Just Let me see decision. Okay. First of all, you cannot pull someone by the hair. Okay, that's a red card for you. It is a red card. Off you go. Off you go. And Ben Amse is Secondly, off with a red card. You cannot turn around and punch someone in the face. That's punch. a red card for you. You can't pull. It's a red card apiece. It's going to be 14. Okay. 14 the first each side. It's going to be against you because he initiated it. South Africa, if you just joined us, we are well, 20 minutes to go. They lead 14 13. No one else has ever won the, win the World Junior Championship. Drop goal attempt by Pollard. It's a terrific kick. But he's got it. Sensational. What a youngster. What a remarkable footballer. Van der Vatted is now and away by uh, Pollard. Ndavani, elusive runner. There are a few of those in this, uh, in this out outfit. Liebenberg, the captain, wants to pop it over to Bison. Bison inside to Jan Serpentine. Can he go to line? Yes, he can! The star of the tournament. Jan Serpentine, the hero of South Africa. Well, he scored a try against Argentina, but this was just pressure and too much of it. Talk about a captain's knock. The guy's been injured, Liebenberg. He frees it up, and have a look how much work he had to do. 15 metres out, spinning, turning, and scoring. What a player. Ruan Botter battling away still. What a performance by the pack. And here, the dancing feet of Peter Aki. And a penalty in on. front of the post. Lying on top of the man they tackled. Holding on. Point. Yep. So, that puts them back in touch. It's a six-point margin, and that is a different story. The catch by Steph Dutoy. They just need to hold it and put it out of play. They set it up, the whistle goes, but the ball's got to get out of... Eight! It's in the hands of Andamani. It's in the crowd. And South Africa have won the Junior World Championship for the first time in the final. It's the best, the best thing that ever happened to me in my rugby career. And I played for the Springboks, and I must say to you, it was, it, it, it's the most proudest moment. And to wear the green and gold will never, will never go away as the proudest moment. But this, this tops it all. The 2012 IRB Junior World Champs.
it's a, it's a very proud moment for us, but for the fans as well, I have to say the support was amazing throughout the whole tournament. Even after our loss against um, Ireland, the fans still supported us, and that's what makes South Africa such a, such a proud nation.